Hey, how's it hanging, Providence? My name is Chilbo, and I am here at Boston Calling with Nathaniel Rateliff and the Night Sweats. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Well, only a Night Sweat. Um, I'm not sure where the other Night Sweats are. But <laughs> Being jerks somewhere, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Day, day sweats. They have the day sweats right now. They're the day sweats right now. Um, so welcome to Boston. So the last time I saw you, uh, you guys played our birthday bash at Lupo's in Providence uh, in October. So what have you been up to since then? A lot, really. Um, we what? took a short break for January. What we did like? Let's start by determining what month it is right now. So since October, yeah. we've been busy. We, yeah, we took January and February off and um, got right back at it. Yeah, and basically we're still, we just started working on another record and uh, it took some time in New Mexico. Well, we took five days and then wrote about 11 songs in that five days and then took that stuff to Richard Swift who produced the last record. And so we just flew in from there last night, actually. Wow. How are you not dying right now? Oh, I think dying. I am, yeah. yeah. We're I mean, yeah, my doctor was probably not happy with me. So. I'm on that boat too. So um, I saw you guys at our birthday bash. You're like a really sprightly dude. Like you guys dance a lot. Like you just love. What's your favorite dance move? Um, well, fried egg. Yeah, my dad used to do this thing called the fried eggs, where you just lay on the ground and shake. Uh, I don't really do that that often though. But um, I don't know. I like to partner dance actually. So um, you know, I would have studied dance if I would have had more opportunity, but. You know, I just make it up as I go now, so. If you could um, tour with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? I mean, you know, we're guy. actually we're getting, we're getting to play the uh, the Monterey Pop Festival, the, the reunion, and Booker T and the MGs is playing. And as being their label mates, I would love to, you know, perform with Booker T and what's left of the MGs, so. Yeah. Um, so this is more of a question for you, so. You were born in Missouri, correct? We both were. You both were. Okay. And then y'all moved to Colorado. So how would you say that that's influenced the way that you guys write music? Um, I think just growing up in Missouri and rural America, uh, it makes you look at things differently because you don't have, there's nothing to do really. So you spend a lot of time just kind of observing the things around you. And, and also aside from that, we both grew up in really hardworking families and they both love music. Um, and I think that really shaped us as people, just that hardworking mentality and a love for songs and for music. Yeah, and when we moved to Denver in 98, the music scene there was happening, but it was pretty small. And um, we kind of grew up with our first couple bands in, in Denver while the scene was growing a lot. And it was a really supportive scene at that time. It, I think it still is, but we're not there anymore, really, so it's hard to say. <laughs> But um, but at that time, like all the bands that we were playing shows with, everybody was really like, um, like very supportive. But also, like everybody's at everybody else's shows, and you're kind of you're not trying to outdo each other, but you're encouraged and kind of turned on by everybody else. So no matter what the style of music was, it was kind of like stone sharpening stone. You know, the friction involved is can be a really positive thing, and um, I think we got really lucky to land there. So we're going to do a little segment called the 5 on 95. These are like rapid fire questions. So, yes. <laughs> so whenever you're ready. All right. What year in music would you go back to? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean <laughs> well, I have we to bleep that. Okay. Um, uh, 64. 64. Um, 64. Transition, like, 58. 58. All right. Let's do it. Uh, what's your hangover cure? Drink again. Uh, yeah, another cocktail. Another cocktail. All right. Uh, what one food would you want to eat for the rest of your life? Oh, um, soup. Broccoli. <laughs> Broccoli cheddar soup. There you go. Um, what's your kill the mood music? What was that? Kill the mood music? Your kill the mood music. Like, if you were trying to, like, you know. I was going to say, um, like, death grindcore metal mixed with hip hop. <laughs> Probably if might. I was going to build the mood, it would be Portishead or Mazzy Star. Yeah, Maybe some EDM could really take it out of, out of me, too. So. <laughs> um, and Jack Black or Jack White? Uh, oh, you mean, like, who you want to hang out with? Yeah. The White Tiger, Jack Black. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. All right, 
There you go. Um, and last couple questions. If you could collaborate with anyone at Boston Calling, who would it be? Kevin Morby. Kevin Morby. And last question. If you could take any one person, dip them in chocolate, and lick it off, who would it be? That lady who kissed me a minute ago. <laughs> Nathaniel Rateliff. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Chillabo. These are Nathaniel Rateliff and A Night Sweat. Yes. <laughs> Joseph Pope the Third. Joseph the Night Sweat. Um, and we're here at Boston Calling. Check us out, WBRU.com. Great.